you got time enough for two of us what is mine I will share you got things that we can do without most anytime anywhere every little day tag along. Hey everyone and welcome to the Telecoaster 94 music channel. Um, today's video is going to be a tutorial video on how to play Gordon Lightfoot's classic tune, I'll Tag Along. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Mr. Bill Last uh, for requesting this song. Uh, thank you, Bill, for uh, giving such a great suggestion. Um, so a, a little bit about this song before I go into the lesson part of it. Um, so this song was released on Lightfoot's 1986 album, East of Midnight. Um, it was probably the most commercial album that he, that he ever produced. Um, it's very um, synthesizer, keyboard, and electric guitar oriented sound. It's very far away from the acoustic sound that he had established in the 60s and 70s of his career. And um, it's a highly underrated album too as well. The only acoustic songs I can really think of that are driven on that song are the um, I'll Lesson in Love and of course this one which closes the album. It's a great, uh, I'll take it along, it's a, it's a great uh, really wonderful Lightfoot song. Um, beautifully, beautiful melody, beautiful lyrics and um, I think it's also a personal favorite of his as well, as he still performs it to this day. In fact, I think it's only one of two songs that from East of Midnight that actually still appears in his set list. So, just a wonderful track. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into the lesson. This song is going to be in standard tuning. Um, you're going to have a capo on the second fret of your guitar. And um, we're going to be in the key of A to match the recording. And since we're going to be capoed up, we're going to be transposing to G. So here are the chords that are actually in the song that are used. So you have a G major, a D over F sharp, a G7 over F, A minor 7, C, D7, a G over B, and a really interesting one called a B flat diminished. There it is. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, um, break down the intro of this song, and um, the beautiful thing about the intro is it's basically the same melody that's played through the verses. So if you get the intro down, you can do the verses just fine because it repeats. It's the only thing, the only part where it makes a change and it deviates is during in the chorus, and I'll break that down as well. So let's get into the intro of the song. So you're, we're, since we're going to be doing this song, it's a in a finger style. Uh, tune. It's gonna be. We're gonna be doing what's called a Travis pick, and for those of you who are more intermediate in Travis picking, um, I recommend just kind of like using your fingers and just plucking, like just plucking like that until you get uh, until you get comfortable with moving it with full motion range, like that. But um, so here's here's the our picking pattern, and here's the flow of how it's gonna sound. So here it, here it is, really slowed down. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to play the intro slowed down just like that, and then I'm going to break down where the chords are and where your fingers are going to go, and then we'll play that together, and then we'll do it at full speed. So here we go. And there that was. So, um... So how we're doing this, so now we're going to start on the G as the first chord, um, and of course we're, we're going to start with the... So we're going to start with our Chris plucking on the, our thumb on the low E string. Um, basically your thumb's going to be one to constantly be, be, be um, 
moving back and forth between the um, low E and the between the low E and the D string. something like that um, so what's really interesting about this intro is it's kind of a walk down so you start off with this G major and then you're gonna go down to the D over F start which you can actually do with your thumb so you're gonna play a D major chord and then put your thumb over the low E string second fret behind here doing like that so um, and after you go through the D over F sharp, you're going to go into this G7 over F. And um, so how to do that is to make this G7 over F chord, you're going to actually take your um, index finger and put it right on the first fret behind the capo on the low E string. And there's F. Meanwhile, this is a bit of a stretch, by the way, your ring finger and your pinky finger are gonna be on the third fret on the B string and the high E string. So it's a bit of a stretch. Now, this is, and I, I recommend doing, if you're gonna be working on this song in the intro, I recommend just going through the, the G, the D over F sharp, and then the um, G7 over F, because that's the most part where you're gonna wanna, in, you know, focus on that. So once again, that G7 over F is going to be like this. So you're going so to have your index finger over on this F here on the on low E string. And then you're going to have your ring finger on the B and your pinky finger on the high E there. Same fret on third. So here's that slowed down. And I'll try to show my hand here the best I can. So watch my fingers here on my left hand. again. And, and, you, and, I'm sure, and I'm sure as you saw there, you're basically going down. And there's that first part there, and you're going to be holding that. And if you notice on my hand, on my left hand, these two fingers really kind of stay in relative location as this thing changes. The only time I take my pinky finger off is when I'm doing the D major or the yeah, yeah, D ref sharp. And if you wanted to, you could move your thumb back, but you want to make sure you take your index finger off. Some, so for some people, that's a bit of a stretch. So I recommend just using your index finger. So I'll show that to you again one, once more, and I'll try and get really close as I can. So uh, now, now we'll play that part at full speed. So here we go. One thing about that B flat over F real quick is that, um, is that you wanna make sure that you're not hitting that A string. You don't wanna be hitting that cause it's gonna, it's not, I mean, it's not bad, but it, it just doesn't make a whole lot of mel melodic sense. So what you want to do if you're going to play that, you're going to want to try to you want to try to use your thumb to go right from the low E to the the open D string there and kind of like and kind of like, kind of like pluck. So I'll go ahead and play that again. There's those chords there. Um, when I when I actually started learning this song a couple of years back um, and playing it properly, because I've actually been listening to this song since, since I was about 15 years old, and uh, I never actually played it properly until I revisited revisited the song again about two years ago. And I just sat down with my guitar and I was kind of working, you know, doing this, and, and then I basically knew where to go with the G7 over F because I know that F was the the bass note on the on that chord. So once I found that, I just kind of 
worked on positioning my fingers and it's kind of cool how, I, how you can find that when you listen really closely with your ear to the melody and um, get the and, and uh, follow the melody as best you can and uh, find out where your fingers can go. But um, so that's what you want to do. And, and and when I learned that, I practiced that quite a bit going back, just doing that walk down. You know that until my hand got comfortable with this. You know. And there's that. So. Then after you go to the G7 over F, you're gonna go right to an A7. I'm sorry, A minor seven, I'm sorry. To the C. And then you're gonna to go to a D7. And then and you go right back to home on G. And that's gonna go all the way through the verses. So I'm gonna play the intro slowed down piece by piece all the way through. So here we go. Um, then I'll break down the second half of that intro. Okay, so to play an A minor seven, you, you can make a normal a minor shade like you would normally just let your ring finger off leaving only your index finger and your middle finger so your index finger here is going to be on the uh, B string first fret and your and your um, middle finger is going to be on the D string second fret like that just like, just like that there you go so <laughs> there's that um, so and there's that and of course in straight standard C playing as you normally would with your... The good thing about the A minor 7 to the C is is your, the, that you can just add your ring finger right there on the third fret on the A string. And so you only have to move these two fingers. So it's like, you know... Easy as can be. So there's that. The D, of course, D7 right here you're gonna put your um, index finger on the B string first fret your middle finger on the G string second fret and your ring finger on the high E string also third fret and that's and you can play like that and you can get used to that too so here's the intro piece together all the way through and um, and I'll, then I'll do that at slow speed and then one, one at full speed and then we'll go into the chorus is where everything changes a little bit. So here we go. Okay, and I'll play that one more time slow. I want to play at full speed and I'm going to show you some little little accents you can do when if, if you got the pattern down. So here, here it is at full speed. Now what I'm doing there to kind of give a little bit of flavor is once I'm doing the going from the G like that to the D over F sharp. I do a hammer on here on the high E as I'm making the switch over to the G7 over F. That's just how it came on, came to me while I was playing it. I, Lightfoot does, I don't think Lightfoot plays exactly like that. I think he does things a little bit differently, but when I'm playing it, that's how it came. So if you like that, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep playing your G, you know, D over F sharp, and then when you're gonna make the switch, Add that pinky finger hammer on and then move. So I'll play that again. Do that again. Do, I'll do it one more time. Sorry guys, one more time. And 
that's how you can do that. And with the A7, I kind of do a hammer-on. I do a lot of hammer-ons when I play guitar. I do a lot of hammer-ons and pull-off. That's just stuff that I've kind of developed over over time of playing because I, I often play um, a solo acoustic guitar without any backing band a lot of the time. So I try to add extra flavor to the chords just to give them more richness and to kind of have it fill out a little bit more. So that's just what I do. But you, if you want to do that, you can kind of... And then do the hammer-on on the C. And on the D7, you can probably do that too. This is like... Like that. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a hammer on on the D7, if you're gonna do a pull off, I guess you could say, just do right there on the B string, like that. Um, so that's the uh, that's the entire intro into the verses. So as you're, as you're doing the verses, so after you've come out, so here's the um, so here's the um, interlude intro into the verses, and it's gonna be just just like that. So it's like. We've got time enough for two of us What is mine I will share You got things that we can do without Most any time, anywhere So there it is, so just like the intro, you're gonna sing, as you're singing the verses, you're basically playing that intro all the way through verbatim. Now, when we come to, I think, the pre-chorus, there's a change that Lightfoot does here. So as you're coming out of the G7 into the G, and then he goes into every little daydream or this time tomorrow, he starts with this, so. This time tomorrow we might all be packed and gone. I believe it's best we carry on. So what, so what he's doing there is the chords in that part is going to be you're going to the A minor 7 and then so you're going to the C so let's see so you're, so you're going to start with the G I'm sorry every little daydream that appears in all we do so what you're going to do is just, you're going to start back on the home root of G and then you're going to go into the A minor 7 and then you're, then you're going to do the G over B that's, that's, that's where that chord comes in and of course, for those who are not familiar with G over B, is you're basically playing a G chord, but you're taking your your middle finger off the low E string, and you're not and you're not you're not even gonna play this because because it doesn't sound right. And, you, and, you, and you're gonna make your focus on the A string, the D string, the G, the B, and the E, and that's where you're gonna be at. And then the cool thing about it is, in, is after you go for the G over B, you're going to go right to a C. And then, uh, of course, to the D7. So I'm going to play that slowed down. So here we go. Again, I'll play it slowed down on the pre-chorus. I'll do it once more. So again, that's going to be as it as follows: A minor seven, G over B, C, then to G again. And then it's going to be, I believe it's best we carry on. A minor 7, C, D7, and then back to G. And that's how it's going to go. And um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll do that part again. that part again. So here's the first part of that pre-chorus. Okay. And 
here we go again on the second part. So there's a part again, here we go, so. Every little daydream that appears in all we do Gives us some problems of our own Can be exactly like that. So again, it's going to be G, A minor seven, C, G over B. I'm oh, sorry, I messed. I'm sorry, guys. I messed it up. I'm trying to remember all these parts, and it's kind of, it's kind of remember. It's kind of hard to remember to explain it at the same time. So here we go. I'm sorry. So again, that pre-chorus is going to be G, A minor seven, G over B, C, back to the home G, A minor seven, skipping the G over B into the C, to the D seven. Okay, now I'm gonna break this down one more time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody. I'm just trying to remember, uh, remember all these parts and it's um, kind of hard to remember because it's uh, been, been used to playing it for so long and I don't, I don't, it's, like hard, it's like hard to not think about. But anyway, so here we go. Each and every bad dream will be hammered into dust When we get back where we belong That's exactly how it's gonna go. So it's gonna be. Okay, and then there's one final part of the chorus where he changes it again. So it's gonna be like this. So we go from that. Smoke rings rising till they disappear in the sky above. If you ask me, I'll tag along. Okay, so where we're going is, so now he goes from this. Uh, ba, 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 goes from that to this. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba. ba 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 So he kind of combines the intro into this. So it's like I believe it's best we carry on. So it's gonna be G, D over F sharp, back to that G7 over F, and then to the A minor seven. C, D7, and back home to G. So again, that pre-chorus or chorus is starting out with this G, A minor seven, G over B, and then C, and then it goes right back to G, and then A minor seven, then to the C, and then D7, back to G, and then it goes right back to those intro chords we just did. Okay, after he says, if you ask me, I'll tag along, then he goes into this really cool little run, which is a nice little interlude, which is different from the intro. So here's how it goes, full speed, and I'll slow it down. If you ask me, I'll tag along. Okay, so what he's doing there, and this is where that B-flat diminished comes in. So it's like, if you ask me, I'll tag along, back home to G. So it goes in like this, so it's like, so we're gonna start with G, A minor seven, to the G over B, and then you're gonna, and all, all you're gonna do is slide your index finger down to the first fret. See that? And I, I think that I think that's a really cool chord. So it's gonna be like this. So it's like slide. So that's gonna be if you really want to know. So it's gonna be basically like the G7 over F. The difference is you're moving your index finger over to the A string first fret. So that's where you're gonna be. So again, that's first finger, um, index finger, 
uh, A string, first fret, and of course your ring finger and your pinky finger are gonna be on the B string, E string, third fret. So here's how that's gonna go one more time. So if you ask me, I'll tag along. back to home. So again, it's going to be, if you ask me, I'll tag along G, A minor 7, G over B, B flat diminished, A minor 7, C, D7, G. That's all it's going to be. And um, that's how it's, and that's, and that's exactly how it goes. So I'm going to play that slow and I'll play it full speed. And then I'll actually do um, a playthrough of that exactly instrumentally. And then um, we'll end the video. So here's how it's going to go. So here's again slow speed. One more time slow. I'm going to play the intro and then the pre-chorus, chorus, verse all together. And then we're going to piece all this together. So here we go. Pre-chorus. Back to that intro feel. Okay, in between interlude. Okay, one last note I want to make about this is at the end is when you're gonna because you're gonna because at the end of the song it goes from this full full tempo this you know this he goes from that and then he goes to this and then right as you get from the A minor seven to the C then he starts slowing down as soon as he gets to D seven. you can let off so you can let off on that that um, let off on the um, ham, uh, pull on I was telling you about or pull off on the finger chord so that you can do it like that so you want to make sure to slow it down like that at the end so um, and that's the song guys I hope that that was helpful to you um, I apologize if I kind of repeated myself a little bit I'm a little bit, um, it's been a crazy holiday season and I'm working a lot of hours, so I'm a little, I'm a little, a little on the sleepy side, so I apologize if I repeated myself. And um, But I, I hope it was helpful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, to anyone watching this, if you um, like this video, please be sure to comment, like it, share it, and subscribe. Um, and um, if, you, if there's any other songs that I post on my channel that you guys want to see tutorial lessons for, uh, has, uh, don't don't hesitate to leave a comment on the in the comment section below, and I'll gladly look into them and get back to you on that. Um, I want to give a real quick plug for a awesome podcast that's out there. If you're podcast listeners, um, if you're life, if you know if you guys are watching this and you're Gordon Lightfoot fans like I am, I highly recommend to listen to this this podcast called Carefree Highway Revisited. Um, the host of the show's name is Mike Mesner. He's a great guy, a total Lightfoot fan. Um, he has a pod in this podcast, Carefully How We Revisited. Um, he goes through every Lightfoot track, song by song, picked by his guests. And, it, what he, and, and, and uh, each episode, they go and do a discussion 
on the song and the lyrics and the music and it, it's um it's a wonderful show it's really greatly produced and it's awesome just to hear mike and other lifewood fans just kind of talking about a great songwriter and, and the wonderful catalog that the man has written over the years um, and I myself have actually been a guest on that show. Um, I, I, I just finished making my second appearance on the show. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below for that for the website to the podcast um, if you're interested. And um, I'll see you guys next time. I should have another another Lifeboat cover coming up very soon. So until then, you guys take care and Merry Christmas to all of you. See ya.